everyone. I hope you enjoyed my mini tutorials. I'm going to be showing you how to use each of the essential brushes and I'll be demonstrating on my model Naomi, so stay tuned. This is the angled eyeliner brush and I'm going to show you a couple of things that can be done with it. First of all, applying some liquid liner to the upper lash line. First you want to just close your eyes and we're going to start on the inner corner and then bring it all the way out close to the lash line. Turn it the alternative way and you can create a nice cat flick. Also with this brush you can use it to fill in your eyebrows. Just pick a little bit of powder up and just pop it through and just use the natural angular effect to follow the line of the brow. This is the foundation brush and it's made with synthetic hairs so it picks up cream products, especially foundation. Now the good thing about this is it's a circular brush, it's all rounded so that you can get in all them awkward areas, which is a little bit different to the flat foundation brushes out there. You can also get right over your eyelid, it's a lovely soft synthetic hair so it won't scrape or hurt the skin. And because of the shape of it you can roll it back and forwards across the nose so you're not leaving them awkward lines where the foundation won't go. Another great use for the foundation brush is to apply cream based products such as blusher. It can also be great for applying your concealer products. This is the flat eyeshadow brush and it's used to pat eyeshadow directly onto the eyelid before any blending. All we're going to do is just pat the eyeshadow all over and you can pick it straight up from the lash line and lift it up and out. It's got a lovely flat edge as well. Another thing it's great for is highlighting the eyebrow area. This is the blending brush and it's used to just blend out the eyeshadow that you've already applied. So all you want to do is just gently dust it back and forth over the eyelid and give it a quick little swirl and it just gets rid of all them harsh lines. This is the tapered blending brush and it's used for more control and a precise application of the eyeshadow. And all you would do is you take a darker colour and you just apply it to the outer corner along the crease and bring it along toward the inner corner. And because it's longer than the blending brush, it gives you a little bit more control where you put your eyeshadow. It's also great for applying contour down the nose if you want to slim your nose out or if you want to create a bit more depth in your eye socket you can also apply it with the tapered blending brush. This is the pencil brush and it's ideal for the outer corner of the eyelid on the upper lash line and also brought along the lower lash line to create a little bit of eyeshadow where you would normally put a bit of liner and we're just going to gently rock it back and forth on the outer corner it's great for adding a lot of depth to a look without removing the makeup you've already put on. There we go. And then underneath you just follow it through and just gently dab the eyeshadow right under the lash line because it's nice and fluffy. It's not too harsh and it smokes this eyeshadow out lovely. There we go. This is the flat contour brush. It's got a lovely flat soft edge. All I'm going to do is just gently, where the hollowing of the cheek is, pull down the colour and then, like a stippling effect, just blend it out. It's great for down the centre of the nose as well, onto the chin and on the forehead if you want to add a little bit of highlight, but mostly for the contouring of the cheekbone to get that chiselled look and along the jawbone as well. This is your large powder brush and it can be used for a couple of different things and I'll show you the first one. I'm using it right now for foundation powder so just pat it all over and you can just gently dust it back off and put as much on as you need. You've got great control over the amount you put on and it covers big areas. 
Thank you for watching and I hope you like my new cosmetic brushes. I'm dead proud of them. They've benchmarked against the best, the professional quality and as promised I've kept the price right down for you. You can go and check that out. If you'd like more information on them or you'd like to grab a set, go to longlook.com. Zoom, zoom.